Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Citizen Scientist Workshop. And in today's technical note, how to create chemical solutions with any concentration you desire. Matter is shaped by chemistry, and so the ability to create chemicals with particular concentrations is a foundational skill for every citizen scientist. In this short tutorial, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to do just that. Suppose I need to create a solution that is one-tenth of a gram of sucrose per milliliter of water. To create that, I'm going to need four things. First, the chemical itself, the solvent, a digital scale, and one of these wonderful pieces of glassware, a volumetric flask. We're not going to use a graduated <coughs> cylinder today because the narrow neck on the volumetric flask allows you to isolate a particular volume of liquid much more precisely. In fact, you should always use a volumetric flask whenever you're making up solutions. If you don't have one, check out the links below for sources. My projects usually require only small batches of stuff, so in this video I'll be working my magic with my relatively small 25 milliliter volumetric flask. So then, to get my one-tenth of a gram per milliliter solution, all I have to do is figure out how many grams of sugar I need to add to the 25 milliliters of distilled water that I can easily isolate with my volumetric flask. That's easy. If each milliliter of solution contains one-tenth of a gram of sucrose, then 25 milliliters will contain 25 times that, which is 2.5 grams. So I place a little piece of paper on the scale to hold my sample, zero the scale, then add some sugar until the scale reads precisely 2.5 grams. There we go. Now I place that in my beaker. Next, we fill the volumetric flask with distilled water until the bottom of the meniscus, that little dip that you see in the top of the column right here, until that is exactly level with the line. Then I dump that in with the sugar, Stir it thoroughly until everything dissolves, and voila, our 0.10 gram per milliliter sucrose solution. Easy. But now suppose I needed a weaker solution. For instance, suppose I needed a concentration of, say, 0.01 grams per milliliter. I can't do that with this setup. Why not? Because then I'd need to be able to measure off 0.01 grams per milliliter times 25 milliliters, which equals 0.25 grams of sucrose. I'd need to be able to accurately measure down to two decimal places, or one hundredth of a gram. But my scale can only measure down to plus or minus one tenth of a gram. That just isn't precise enough. So what's a poor experimentalist to do? Well, it's simple. Create a stronger solution and then dilute it. And since I've already created a solution that's 10 times the needed concentration, all I have to do is dilute this by a factor of 10. That's easy. To say that I want to dilute this by a factor of 10 is to say that I want to create a solution that is a 1 in 10 part dilution. That means that I need to take one part of this and add to it 9 parts of my solvent. Then I'll have a total of 10 parts, one of which is my solution. So now it's one part in 10. So let's measure that out. The quickest and easiest way I know to do this is to use something called a volumetric pipette. If you don't happen to have any, don't worry. You'll find links in the description below that will help you secure some if you want to. And if you're going to be doing this a lot, believe me, you want to. But if you don't have one, you can do the dilution by weight rather than by volume. In that case, place the flask on your digital scale and zero the scale out. Now you need to add precisely 2.5 milliliters of solution. To keep things simple, we're going to assume that the concentration is low enough so that the density of the solution that you are diluting is essentially the same as the density of the solvent that you're diluting it with. Then, you just have to add the solution, a few drops at a time, until your scale reads one-tenth of whatever 25 milliliters of the solution would weigh. That way, you'd have one part of the volume of the flask filled with your solution. Since we're using distilled water, the density of which at room temperature is essentially 1.00 grams per milliliter, we add the solution until the scale reads 2.5 grams. Now, if you don't know the density of your solvent, you can probably look it up online. 
If not, you can measure it yourself using a pycnometer as I showed in a previous video. Check out the link in the description below if you'd like details. Now, to add the other nine parts, all you do is fill the flask with your solvent to the line. Note that you need to be very careful to approach the line slowly, one drop at a time, so as not to overshoot it, lest you dilute the solution too much. Next, just pour everything out into a beaker and mix it very thoroughly. And there you have it, your 0.01 grams per milliliter solution of sucrose. Okay, so now if you understand how to dilute a solution by a factor of 10, then you can dilute it by any factor you want. If you want to cut the concentration by 50%, add one part solution to one part solvent. Then you have two parts, one of which is your solution, and so you've diluted it by one part in two. One divided by two is 0.5 or 50%. See how that works? If you only want to knock down the concentration by 20%, that is, if you want to create an 80% solution, you add eight parts of the solution to two parts of solvent so that you have eight parts in a total of 10 parts, and so on. You can use this procedure to create any fraction you want. So, as a final example, suppose you start with a solution of, say, 0.7 milligrams per milliliter, and you want to knock it down to something like, I don't know, 4.3 micrograms per milliliter. How might you do that? First, you divide what you have by what you need. That's 0.7 milligrams per milliliter by 4.3 micrograms per milliliter. Putting that into my calculator, I get that's a factor of 163. So I need to dilute the sample by that factor. So to get there, I'll dilute it by a factor of 10 twice to get a factor of 100 total. Then I dilute it again by a factor of 1.63. So how can I do that? Well, 1 over 1.63 is about 0.61. So at this point, I have to decrease the concentration to 61% of what I have right now. So I need to fill the flask 61% of the way up with my diluted solution and then fill the rest with my solvent. In my case, filling my 25 milliliter volumetric flask 61% of the way to the top would correspond to about 15.25 milliliters, which for a dilute solution in distilled water, I'd weigh out as 15.3 grams on my scale. Then I'd top off with distilled water to the fill line, mix this thoroughly in my beaker, and I'd have my 4.3 micrograms per milliliter. And with that, I would be ready to proceed further down the road of my scientific adventure. By the way, mixing powders is exactly the same procedure, only instead of volume, you'll be going strictly by weight. Just keep in mind that powders are notoriously difficult to mix thoroughly, so be careful to make sure that the mixture is very well blended before moving from one step to the next. And that's it. So you now know how to create a solution or a mixture of, well, anything with absolutely any concentration you want. Enjoy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments section below. If you appreciate the work we're trying to do here, please hit that like button. It really helps us when you do that. And subscribe. For the Citizen Scientist Workshop, I'm Sean Carlson, and I'll see you in the next one.